Welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. I am at it again and right here in front of me I have six new things to cut open and see what is inside and these things are kind of different. Oh, I cannot wait for this. Probably the one I am most excited to cut into and see what's going on in there is this one. Look at it. <laughs> it looks like flan or some kind of a custard dessert. But the funny part about it, it is not. It is not food or dessert. It is some kind of a squishy. It's such a cute container. It looks like pudding. That's gonna be really good. We also have a splat ball. Ooh, I kind of think I know what's in here. It looks like a big old poop. <laughs> and it's so, so squishy, but I just wanna cut it open and see what the inside looks like. Ooh, gross. What else is gonna be on the chopping block today? Ooh, this one. Now this, it kind of is special to me. I feel really bad about cutting it open. It is a Punu Maru, or Puni Maru Jumbo Bakery Cake. It's the biggest squishy I have ever, ever seen. Would you guys look at this thing? Not only does it look like a real piece of bread or cake, oh, it smells like strawberries. It is strawberry scented. It is the squishiest squishy I think I've ever had. They call it slow rising. It definitely is. And at the end of it, I feel so bad to cut into it, but I'm so curious what is in there. Oh, smells like a fresh strawberry scone or pastry. Cannot take it, so we're gonna chop that up. Also, we're gonna dissect this poor little kooky cookie. Oh, this is a Shopkin squishy. I think there's some kind of a memory foam inside. I'm just curious to see exactly what it looks like, what color it is. Sorry, cookie. Final two, we have this thing here. It is so super adorable. Kind of looks like a sea creature, and I think it's, I don't know, it's kind of like a water balloon, stretchy. That's a weird one. Final is this green high bounce. I did cut open, I think it was like an orange one, and there was some kind of a dough, but this one feels a little different. It's not as firm. All right, my little bubble pops, no time to waste. We have some experimenting. And I just wanna let you guys know, like always, this is not how you're supposed to treat toys. You're not supposed to cut into them. And if you are gonna do this at home, please make sure you have an adult or parent supervising. The scissors are so sharp and just do not do this alone. Let's get started. First one up is the custard pudding. <laughs> this is the most original packaging I think I've ever seen for a squishy. I don't know if it's water filled, jelly filled, such a mystery to me and I really do feel bad about chopping into it because it is the cutest little thing ever. I can't really read the writing on here. It's got this cute little puppy. It looks like a piece of flan. So what do you guys see? We open it up and see what's inside of here. Ah! Ooh, look at that. <laughs> this seriously feels like some kind of yogurt or jello. It doesn't have a smell. It kind of smells a little weird, like blue. But look at this. So, so cool. Jiggly. Not only does this look like a real custard dessert, it has the coloring. This would like be the caramel. It feels just like it. It jiggles. This has the strangest texture. On the outside, it's kind of sticky like a slime. It doesn't get on your hands, it's solid. And another thing is, I feel something in here. <laughs> I feel something, what is it? Ah, let's get a closer look. Oh, look at that, it's got a little teddy bear. Floating around in there. with this thing all day. It looks like a little squishy dessert. It is just too cute for words. And there's definitely some little toy in there, like a bear. I don't know, so what do you guys say? I get my shishies and cut it open. I'm kind of thinking there's water inside. Maybe it could be a little bit of slime, but I'm thinking it's water. So I'm just gonna get the edge. Give it a little snip, woo! <laughs> There it is. I'll pour it in that little cup. Wow. Ooh, 
something fell out of there. Just a result, inside of this pudding or flum squishy, we get some kind of a water. And now for that little surprise that was in there. Just flip it. Oh, little teddy bear. Oh, we get this little rubbery squishy teddy inside. Kind of like a surprise toy. And it looks like the dessert or the flan. It's that same yellow color. It's got the caramel hat. Oh, this was the cutest. Take it a step further and see what's inside of this one. I don't think it's water. It kind of feels firm. Sorry, little Teddy. Ah! Ooh, this is like a super duper hard rubber. Oop, solid. Even without the water in it, it still feels so, so cool and is stretchy. <laughs> it still feels like a little squishy toy. Let's chop this up, see how it looks inside. Ooh, it feels just like a custard. Actually, I'm going to go to the store and get some after this. <laughs> it's making me want it. It looks so, so yummy. Ooh. So there you go. Mystery number one solved inside of this custard with some water and this cute little bear. He's not so cute anymore. On to the next one. Experiment number two on the chopping block is Cookie Cookie. A season one Shopkin, but it's not the regular little plastic one. It is the squishy version. <laughs> and this one is so squishy. Woo! Love it. Oh, I never even noticed that Cookie's got one little tooth in the middle. She looks so adorable. So... I kind of think that there's like a memory foam in here or some kind of a foam, but I'm not too sure what it looks like. Curious what the color is. We've had the squishy for a couple days and I've been squishing it around and playing with it. It's kind of like a stress reliever, but I also have been curious what exactly is inside. Is it like memory foam? What color could it be? Time to chop it. Sorry, little cookie. Don't mean to do this to you. Ooh, and it's so cute. It's got a little bite mark out of there. I am just going to go right down the middle <laughs> and see what is in here. Ooh, it's really soft. Wow. So cool. So inside of this, there is some kind of a foam, kind of like a rubbery foam, but it's the exact same color as the outside. I thought it was going to be like white in there. Looks like a cookie. Really looks like the inside of a cookie or a slice of cake. Let's see. It's not your regular memory foam. It's a little bit more rubbery than that. It's really soft. Oh, look at that poor little eye staring at me. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? crunchy too. When you start cutting into it, it has this little crunching sound. I like that. Ah, I turned it into little cookie crumbs. <laughs> I cannot even believe it. So the mystery is solved inside of our little cookie cook squishy. There is some of this orangey yellowish cookie colored memory foam. It's kind of like rubbery. Super cool. Moving along to the high bounce, high bounce stretch ball. I cut open one of these the other day. It was like an orange color, but I have to say I got this one because it felt a little bit different. It's not as dense, it's a little bit more squishy. Maybe there's some kind of jelly inside. Here it is, fresh out of the package, our third squish, and it is so, so squishy and fun to play with. Probably the funnest out of all three of them. Kind of feels like a piece of Play-Doh or modeling clay. Just has the weirdest, weirdest texture. Ooh. 
Oh, and I love this one. I don't even want to cut this one open. It is such a good stress reliever. Ah, it feels so relaxing. And as soon as you start squishing it, you could see it kind of turns white. So I'm thinking there's either flour or some kind of dough. I don't know. It feels super weird. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's give it a little snippy. Woo! My usual technique that I love. I'm just going to pinch the corner and cut it. I see something. Ew, it looks like whipped cream. Ew, I don't mean to be gross, but this is like popping a huge pimple or zit. Ooh, it just squeezes right out of there. Oh, this is so cool. So similar to the other one I had, but a little, little bit different. Looks like fluffy Cool Whip. Boop. Eek! <laughs> so inside of this little squishy green ball, we get this. It is a huge piece of fluff. Feels exactly like whipped cream. It is so, so messy. Ooh, it smells gross. also kind of reminds me of that marshmallow fluff. It's got that same texture. Ooh, that would be super cool if it was. <laughs> it smells gross though. Kind of smells like glue. Ew. Yucky! Ew, it's all stuck on the inside of this green little slimy thing. It is so hard to pull out of there. What a super mess. As a result, inside of this green squishy high bounce, we get this fluffy dough kind of whipped cream material. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it is the messiest thing ever. But of course, I love it. little pastry here we go oh this one is so cute first of all it came in this box it looks like there's some fresh bread or cupcakes in here it is the puni maru jumbo bakery big bread so so cute and let me tell you it feels like bread it smells like bread i wonder what's inside of it Oops, let's just open the side this is making me want some kind of a pastry right now Ah, oh, smells delicious. Smells like strawberries and cream. But just look at the squish this has. It is so, so, so slow rising or high rising. I don't even know what they call it. It's just super unbelievable. if you know this but I love collecting these kawaii squishies I have so many of them probably over a hundred but this definitely is the biggest the best smelling and the squishiest I have ever seen the bottom looks like some toasted bread I could smell it for days so so good it just looks too real for words and you can just squish at it I don't know I have no clue what kind of foam is in here Love it! Woo! Just look at the squish to this thing. It's unreal. It's unreal. It feels like a piece of pizza dough. It's like pizza dough, like you're going to make a pizza free. Ugh, I feel really bad about cutting it because I like it so much. It's so cute, but time to do it. Just pretend it's a real loaf of bread and slice it right down the middle. Ooh, I do not want to do this. It's one of my favorite squishies ever. Ooh, look at that. It is white inside. And when you actually rip into this, the strawberry smell gets even stronger. 
there it is. It looks like the inside of an angel food cake or some kind of a vanilla cupcake. Ah, just rip at it. Ooh, there's a little brown spot. I wish you guys could feel this. It looks and feels like I'm holding like a half of a sandwich. It looks like sandwich bread. That's exactly what it feels like. Warm, fresh roll. Some kind of sandwich. Mmm. And pour a little cookie cookie before this foam is similar to this but it's so so different this is a little more firm and rubbery this I don't know it's as light as air kind of feels like play-doh actually I'm sure if I took like a little piece it just feels like dough sure this is like my favorite squishy I think probably the best thing I've ever cut open I cannot get over the material it's like raw dough yet it's kind of foamy it's still so so squishy when you cut into it and it smells amazing ah, strawberry there you go inside of this jumbo bakery squishy was some foamy dough kind of felt like pizza dough I really loved it and to tell you the truth it's not super ruined I could still use this and squish it my little stress reliever Ew, it looks like a brain now <laughs> on to the next one this was great I did a couple sweet treats like some flan and some bakery bread now I'm gonna ruin your appetite a little I have this wiggly little poop Do they really have to make it so, so detailed? Ooh, there's all pieces of that bread loaf. <laughs> it looks like there's some bread stuck to this poop. It's got all those little dimples and little patches. It's got that little swirly on the top. Ooh. I'm definitely thinking there is some liquid inside of this poop. I could see the bubbles. It looks like that. So I have a little cup here to catch it. Ew, let's do this. <laughs> Grossest little thing ever. Ah! Yup. There was some magical poo water inside. I love these little splat balls though because even though they're just filled with boring water, once you take it out, they're still super squishy and fun to play with. But right now, ew, what am I holding? It just looks too, too weird. Let's go a step further and dissect this little poopy. Ooh, it's got the perfect color. They really got the color good. Wow. So the mystery of the squishy number five is solved. We got some water inside of this brown poo. Ooh, and I chopped it up a little bit. This looks so, so funky. Ooh, gotta get it away. On to squish squish number six. And I kind of think I know what's in here, but I just had to get it because it is so, so goofy looking. I just love it. I can't even believe we're on to the final one. We did so much investigating and cutting today, all these little toys, and I'm really impressed. I loved all the different things that were inside, especially that big bread, unbelievable. So now we're on to this pink thing, kind of looks like a sea creature. And to tell you the truth, it kind of feels like it's empty. Ooh, this thing is so gross and cute at the same time. And how cool would it be if we like chopped into this and there was a little surprise toy in there? I would love that. So the way I'm gonna do this one is not just give it a little pop. I am gonna slice right through the center. I love that technique. Ooh, maybe it's gonna pop like a balloon. Woo! There you go. It is just completely clear, nothing inside. Ooh, you could use this as like a hat now. <laughs> you could put it on top of your head. Ah, just as I suspected, there was nothing in here. I wanted there to be some kind of a goo or ooze. I'm looking for something crazy to come out of these things, but it was just air, kind of like a little fluffy balloon. We reached the end and now I have a table filled with the weirdest things ever. This looks so, so crazy. I have this little bakery squishy, this one here, pieces of poo, 
cookie cookie. Ooh, this dough is awesome though. It's kind of like a fluffy material. And that little pudding. I always pick a fave and it was definitely this one. This was the winner by far. It smelled so good, felt like real bread. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I had a lot of fun cutting into that. And I think the cutest one was probably this little pudding or flum. Have a little bear inside. Boop. I love it for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of all of these little squishies which one you like the best. And if you want to see more videos just like this and other fun ones, you can click this big yellow bubble here with the bubblegum machine and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.